Okay, video number four. I'm testing the audio on this one. Remember these dates. This, uh, the start of COVID and the start of the lax of the mass. So the start of COVID, according to um, the planetary uh, convergence here, uh, December of 2019. Well, Facebook, uh, sorry, Wikipedia has face masks. Uh, crap, wrong one. Um, media coverage of 2019. COVID 19 disease. Blah, 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 blah. When does Wikipedia say it began? Nature, level, and nature of coverage. Blah, 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 blah. Within January of 2020. The first full month in which the outbreak was known. And so that was very close after December. And here we have February of 2021. When does Wikipedia say? Face mask during the pandemic. When did they say when did they say it was lax? Let's just go through this real quick. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Sworn in twenty twenty one. In April and May of 2021, as the country's vaccination program increased in pace, CDC issued a successive guideline stating that fully vaccinated, fully vaccinated individuals did not need to wear masks or physically distance when in public. April and May of 2021. So, I'll leave that right there. And I will get rid of these for now. Get rid of these, maybe come back to it later, but as of right now, I will get rid of them. Uh, let me pause this real quick, make sure I close the correct ones. Okay, continuing. So now, let's just cut to the chase and go to March 29th of 2025. Here we go to Stellarium. March 29th of 2025. Ah, we'll get rid of atmosphere and put in some animals. There you go. And showcases. Here we go. All right. Here is, uh, we'll put it to the, the time, close to the time beforehand. We'll do 45. There you go. All right. So here is the event. On that day, this is what it will look like. The moon will come this way and and skirt across, skirt in front of the sun. Now, let's begin this way. Where are the seven planets that I keep saying are here? When I when people when I've only shown you six. Well, it is the three visible. The three visible planets, Venus, Mercury, and Saturn. Uh, one invisible planet, which is, as soon as it comes up, Neptune. That's the invisible planet. Oh, ring. Today. And one invisible new moon right here, one sun, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, By the way, none of these are going to be visible that day because it's going to happen at 10.46 in the morning, which means with the horizon line right here, which means with the atmosphere, it's going to look like this in uh, Greenwich, England, Greenwich Mean Time. The, uh, uh, yes. This is where Greenwich Mean Time. 
I just have it here just for simplicity's sake. So it's going to be, this is what's going to look like. I mean, you can't even see Venus. Neptune, you'll see the, the eclipse, and that's about it. But they'll be there. But you won't, you won't be able to see it. So I'm going to get rid of the atmosphere. Okay, let me get my bearings here. But the, where is number seven, I keep saying? Well, number seven. Okay, number seven is the eclipse itself defined by the path of the moon defined by this point right here. This is Eastern Astrology's first of many, many secrets that they hold, never advertised to be known in the West until 60-some years ago, at least to my knowledge, anyway. Um, uh, uh, so, I mean, the 50s, possibly, uh, that's what I'm saying, I'm guessing the it's when it started, it first started in the 50s and the 60s. Maybe, like, some people came over here and some of some, them, uh, Westerners were um, uh, exposed to that information, but really no one knew that they'd mark this mark right here uh, as a point. And this marks the eclipse itself. This is one of two crossing points of the path of the moon crossing the path of the sun. Why do they record this as a planet? This is for the date. Here you have the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Neptune, Venus, Saturn, and then this horseshoe right here, this little fella. This is this right here. This is the North Node. <clears throat> this is the North Node of the Moon, of the Moon's path that crosses the Sun's path. It's not that the Sun or, or the Moon are always there. It's where their orbits are calculated to cross at two points. They're called Rahu, and then on the other side is Ketu. Rahu is the north point of the crossing. Ketu is the north direction. Uh, Rahu is north direction. We call it north node, the north direction crossing. Ketu is the south correction, southern correction uh, crossing. Southern Crossing. Uh, but if you think that's all they are, let me tell you from my personal experience, they are so much more than you think. But it goes, it's showing like, let me show you what uh, visually, let's see if this came up yet, yes. Here it is right here. North Node, Rahu, goes up in a 3D arc, and then back this way. This is the south. Goes down. Goes up. Goes down. This is the... Um, you get the idea. Minimize this. That's going to be good up. Come on. Minimize. Okay. So in the chart, where you have Rahu and Ketu here, there's the moon. It just came from under this circle, crossed upwards here, met the sun. And as it continues, it's going to go over this plane of this uh, circle, over it. And it will cross here to go under this circle and within the month, within the month. And then right here it goes over. Now these two points don't move at the speed of the moon. They have their own speed. These travel 
slowly over the course and they make their rounds once every 18 years once every 18 years they go they go from here and they'll be back at this point in 18 years same thing with this side it will be it's here and then in 18 years it'll be back here in nine years these two will will switch their places but in in 18, it'll be back to where it, where it is. So this makes 7. Um, it's very important. I know it's new for the West to uh, understand what these north nodes and uh, these two nodes are. But in Vedic astrology, they go back for thousands and thousands of years. I say 6,000. Uh, it could be more. Um, but here you have Saturn, Rahu, Venus, Neptune, Mercury, Sun and Moon, seven planets in one sign on March 29th, 2025. Now, let me see here. Now, what is Rahu? I'm going to go through this quick because uh, I have limited time and we'll continue after this in the next video, more in the next video, but as of right now. Rahu is a chaotic point. That's this north node. Rahu's influence on the person, Rahu's influence on the person is based on its position in the chart in one of full rotation, a full one of full ration and reason, where based on where it is in this point, one of full ration and reason, thinking and overthinking, questioning yourself but not reality, living life in accordance. To the theatrics going along as if it were a movie it would be an illusion though you'd never know it you were completely mesmerized by this point right here and that's natural it's not um, man-made or artificial or news oriented or news directed it is natural you are the consumption of the moment drinking the kool-aid as it were based on this point or wherever it is in your ch in your birth chart um, consuming the purpose of being in this world as a rebel not as a uh, person who just goes along you you independently think this you mm, I'll just continue on and maybe later on the answer will come to itself but the rebellion you crave is from spiritual association, where you are driven to forget yourself, but never reality. From this point, everything you are is about being alive on the earth. Eat or be eaten. Dog, eat dog. You are defined as a rebel. Make sure my time. Okay. You are defined as a rebel with a cause at this point, as you chase satisfactions, pleasures, yearnings, sensations, anything you, anything that re reasserts you in this world. This is you seeking a comfort reality. This concept is in Vedic astrology, and you can imagine it is, you can imagine it as that moment when you look up at, at an eclipse and you see a shadow grow over the bright sun, just like here in these popular images. And that, this is Rahu. Imagine seeing this just like they do over all of these images here. This makes you question reality. Where everything is surreal and shadow. Rahu is that, but continuously within you. All right. So uh, that's too far. I'm just going to uh, end this right now so that we can continue in the next one.